changing hand. Thank you, Lord. Because time is filled swift. with swift transition. As we look around and we see the unrest, amen, in the great nation, country yes. of America, amen, in the capital. Thank you. Praise Lord. the Lord. Let us know that, amen, time is filled, time is filled. with swift yes. transition. Yes. Amen. But there is a Savior that we can look to. Yes, sir. Amen. The world is in a place of unrest. Mm -hmm. Amen. They're unsure. They're not certain. Amen. But we have a hope. Yes, sir. Praise the Lord. And Paul said, if in this life only we have hope in Christ, Amen. we are all men most miserable. Our hope is beyond what we see in this world today. Amen. Amen. We're looking and we're waiting. Amen. For our king to return. Amen. And to take the church out of this wicked world and this wicked generation that Amen. we have today. Thank you. Lord. So we're going to look to the Lord in spite of what's going on. And by all means, we will continue to pray for our government officials yes. according to the word of God. Pray for those in authority yes. that we may lead a quiet and peaceable life, peaceable life according to godliness and holiness. Amen. Because it's God's will that all men be saved. Amen. Even the politicians, God want them to be saved. Amen. Praise the Lord. And we thank God for government because government is a part of God's setup. Amen. Praise Amen. the Lord. You take the police out of the earth. Amen. I've often said it would be like a Western movie. You ride into town and no sheriff in the town. Mm -hmm. Amen. Oh. Nothing but trouble. Nothing but but we're going to pray and we're going to ask God for his will to be done. It's for the church to pray. Yes, sir. And then God will answer according to the prayers of the saint. Thank you. So at this time, we're getting ready to go before the Lord in prayer. We'll be led in prayer this evening by Deacon Charles Malone. Amen. Remember the saints of God there in Orlando. Amen. Bishop Jones and his family, the saints there and their family. Yes. Amen. The saints of God here, right here in Ithaca. Amen. And their families and loved ones far and near. Amen. Amen. That the Lord will intervene. He will touch their bodies. Thank you. He will strengthen them and he will keep them. Because certainly any one of us can come down with COVID. Amen. It does not see color. It does not respect religion. Amen. Amen. This is God's doing. Amen. And he's speaking to the church and to the world. Amen. But to him that have an ear, that let him hear, hear what the fit. Spirit is saying Amen. unto the church. And so Amen. at this time, Deacon Malone, please lead us in prayer. And we ask the Holy Ghost to glorify Jesus Thank you, in Lord. this service. Deacon yes. Malone. As we bow our heads, Lord God in heaven, how we thank you for this another day. Lord, we lift up our voices and praises to you. Lord, we send up the highest praise that we know to thee. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Lord. We thank you, hallelujah, for being able to praise you and give your name the glory for all that you do for us each and every day. You wake us up in the morning. Yes. Give us our right mind that we might walk along and keep on praising you daily. Lord, we look down upon us as we lift up our voices to you. Lord, those who are sick and afflicted, those yes. who have the COVID, Lord, we ask you to let your healing virtue flow. Lord, look upon those who are bereaved families, yes. who have lost people, Lord Jesus. Be with them, Lord. Comfort their hearts. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Keep them with their desire stayed upon you, Lord. Look upon us as we cry out to you Thank and you. help us to ever want to live the life that you set before us, that we might follow your son, Jesus, holy in the pathway of righteousness that we might keep our desires stayed upon you at all times lord god look upon our meeting tonight bless our pastor as he brings forth the word lord jesus let you be in the midst keep us with our desires stayed upon you and we shall forever give your name the praise and the glory in your son's name jesus name amen amen, amen. thank you Deacon alone amen in jesus name because that's the name that is above every name. Every. And Paul said that the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess. Amen. Praise the Lord. Every tongue shall confess that he is Lord and they shall do it to the glory, amen, of God the Father. Amen. Amen. I just realized my battery went dead on me, but um, we'll be all right. Praise the Lord. Can you hear me loud enough? 
Yeah, I think we'll be all right. Praise the Lord. Kind of out of battery. My battery's in my office. There, Deacon, just so I don't strain my voice. Just yes. That's all right. Just put, look right above, and you'll see right above in my office. But we'll keep on going. When, then you will return. But we thank God for this Bible series. Amen. Dealing with the foundation. And we said on Wednesday, according to Paul, the foundation of God standeth sure. And the Lord knows them that are His. And I'm glad that God knows them that are His. And He don't, there's certain things the Lord don't entrust even to the leader. Praise the Lord, because in the parable of the tares, amen, and the wheat, praise the Lord. They said, Lord, should we go and gather up the tares from among the wheat? Amen. The Lord said, no. Because in trying to gather up the tares, you would damage the wheat. So he said, leave them. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. He said, leave them. Amen. And when I come, I will do the separating. He will send his angel. Amen. In the end time. And he will sever every ungodly individual out from the kingdom. Amen. But the children, the, the wheat. Amen. Will be able to inherit God's blessing. Yes. All of this will take place. Amen. After the kingdom age. Yes, sir. Praise the Lord. But in every church, as an application, you will find wheat and tears. Is that right? Amen. So when some people say, I don't like the church because nobody is right, just remember Jesus said the wheat and the tear got to grow together. That's so right. there will be wheat. And there will be some tears. You just have to decide which one you want to be. That's right. All right. So we thank God for this Amen Bible study. I'm excited about it. Amen. Amen. I'm really excited in my soul. You know, teaching like this is boring to some people, but yes. not to me. Amen. But as we get ready, I'm asking Deacon Malone to get me Isaiah 53, verse number 3. And then Deacon, Deacon Lee would get me Mark chapter number 12. Yes, sir. Praise the Lord. You know, the Ethiopian eunuch, amen, was riding in his chariot. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. And he was reading something that he did not understand what he was reading. Yes. But the angel of the Lord, the spirit, bid Philip to go join himself to the chariot. Mm -hmm. And he heard the Ethiopian eunuch reading out loud. Mm -hmm. And then Philip asked him the question, now, do you understand what you read? He said, how can I accept what? Some man, Some man guide me. That's Praise right. the Lord. And in that, he invited Philip up. And Philip began and continued at the same scripture. Amen. The reason why I quote that scripture and those verses, amen, is to let us know my aim through the Holy Ghost, amen, is to edify those that don't know. Amen. Praise the Lord. That's to right. edify That's those right. that don't know amen. and to those that were edified by our forefathers to continue to build on what they left us with. Amen. All right. So thank God they left us with good things, but we have to keep on going. Remember, the children of Israel had to cross over. Is that right? Yes, sir. Praise the Lord. But there are those out there that don't know. And there are many church people that read the Bible, but they don't even understand what they're reading. Amen, Bishop. So praise Amen. the Lord. So it can only be done through the Holy Ghost, and that's my aim. I don't know it all. I don't profess to say I got it all. That's right. Because anytime you find a preacher that say I know it all, or a church that say that we have it all, mm. watch out. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. Because God is not going to give one person everything. Everything. That's right. Uh, he he going to spread the wealth out, like they right. say. That's right. So that one person don't start amen boasting mm -hmm. and be like Israel the Lord told Gideon you got too many because if I give you the battle later on you're going to rise up and say that we did it That's right. and you're going to vaunt against yourself and say look what we have done mm -hmm. so God said you ain't going to get no glory I'm going to fix it so that I get all the glory praise the Lord so we want to amen just to be able to educate us and to bring to our attention the knowledge of God's word. Alright, so we talked on Wednesday about the um, the cornerstone which is Jesus. Uh -huh. Now remember this cornerstone was rejected. Praise the Lord. Now we're going to read two scriptures concerning amen, the rejection of the cornerstone 
Amen. And then we'll start putting up the building. Amen. All right. So we're going to ask Deacon Malone, amen, if he would read Isaiah 53, verse number 3. He is despised and rejected of men. All right. He is despised and rejected of men. Now, who was despised? The Lord Jesus. The Lord Jesus. All right. He was despised and he was rejected of men. Read. A man of sorrows. All right. He was a man who was going to be filled with sorrows when he saw the condition of the world and what sin was doing to the people. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. Read. And acquainted with grief. All right. He was going to be acquainted with grief. And understand, understand he would understand our afflictions, our yes. pain. Yes. Praise the Lord. There is nothing that we were going to face that he wouldn't, amen, be able to feel it. Praise the Lord, as Paul said, we have not a great high priest who cannot be touched with the very feelings of our infirmities, but was in all points tempted just like we are, but yet without sin. All right, read you come along. And we hid. Is that verse 3? Are you finished? That's all I want. Just that's verse. All right, keep reading. with grief. We hid as if it were our faces from him. And he was despised, and we esteemed him not. All right, so they hid their face, and they want to hear what he had to say. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. But he said, Lo, I come in the volume of the book. It is written of me to do thy will, O God. All right, now we want to go to another scripture that will give you a parable concerning, amen, the rejection of the Son of God. All right, Mark chapter number 12, verse number 1. And he began to speak unto them mm -hmm. by parables. Yes. A certain man mm -hmm. planted a vineyard, set up a hedge about it, and digged it, digged a place for the wine fat, and built a tower and let it out to husbandmen, and went into a far country. And at the season he sent them to he sent to the husbandman a servant that he might receive from the husbandman of the fruit of the vineyard. And they caught him and beat him and sent him away empty. And again he sent unto them another servant and at him they cast stones and wounded him in the head and sent him away shamefully handled. And again he sent another, and him they killed, and many others, beating some and killing some. Having yet therefore one son, his well-beloved, he sent him also last unto them, saying, They will revenge my son. Reverence, I'm sorry. They will reverence my son. But those husbandmen said among themselves, This is the heir. Come, let us kill him, and the inheritance shall be ours. And they took him and killed him and cast him out of the vineyard. What shall therefore the Lord of the vineyard do? He will come and destroy the husbandmen and will give the vineyard unto others. And have ye not read this scripture? The stone which the builders rejected is become the head of the corner. This was the Lord's doing, and it's marvelous in our eyes. All right, so we thank God for that parable. Amen. Talking about the husbandman. Yes. Amen. That had a vineyard. And he lent it out to husbandman. Mm -hmm. Amen. And when time came, he began to send his servant. Yes. Praise the Lord. Now the husbandman represents God. All right. All right. Now the servants represents the prophets. Mm -hmm. All right. Now the well beloved son represents Jesus. Amen. Praise the Lord. So now Jesus now is given this parable because the Jewish people, amen, now they were in a place where they were rejecting, amen, the Son of God, amen, and they were using God's kingdom for their worldly possession. All right. Praise the Lord. There was a time that even the, um, the 
poor and the sick could not go in the temple, amen, to be healed because they turned the, the temple of God into a place to pray with, in other words, a business place. That's right. Man. That's why Jesus went in and upturned the table of the money changers. Yes. Uh, and instead of, you understand, and when Jesus cleared them out, then, amen, those that was allowed to come in, or God wanted them to come in, those people was only able to come in, praise the Lord, because the Jewish people blocked them out. My Lord. All right, they, they turned the, 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 um, the tabernacle or the temple, yes. amen, into a private possession. My Lord. Praise the Lord. So now, the husband man is God. Yes. All right, the servants are the prophets who Prophet. God sent. Yes, sir. To prophesy to the children of Israel All right. of the coming Messiah. Yes. Now, when the Messiah came, praise the Lord. Now, you read the story in the Old Testament. Yes. Some of the prophets, they stone. That's right. Some of them, they kill. That's right. Praise the Lord. And some of them, they beat them. Mm -hmm. So now, God went on to say, now, the parables and now he said, I will send my will or my only son and they will do what? Reverence him. That's right. Now, I want to point something out now. The gardener or the owner, praise the Lord, in this story, praise the Lord. Now, he taught that they would reverence his son. Uh -huh. But now God already knew that they was not going to accept his son. All right. But yet he did send them. Yes. Send him. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. It's just like the Lord told um, Ezekiel, son of man, Go and tell them. Yeah. Whether they would hear you or not, I don't mm -hmm. know. Yeah. But still go. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord that they must know that there was a prophet among them yeah. that spoke that which was right. Amen. So now here come the only begotten son. Mm -hmm. And when they saw the son coming, praise the Lord, immediately they said, now this is the heir. Yeah. Come, let us kill him. That's right. Get rid of him and the inheritance will be, will be ours. Yeah. That represents the Jewish nation. Amen. They told Pilate, we have no king mm -hmm. but Caesar. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. So get rid of him and we don't have to worry about Jesus no more. My Lord. Praise the Lord because Jesus said if I had not come they would have no cloak for their sin. That's right. But now that I came amen Jesus said I'm stripping them naked. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord and I'm pointing out all their traditions yes. amen how they have leave off the weightier matters yeah. and they begin to strain at a gnat and swallow a camel. All right. Praise the Lord. Now you begin to point out amen the condition of their heart yeah, yeah. That they honor God with their lips, but their heart was far from Him. Yeah. So you know, once you start standing up for that which is right, everybody will not like you. No, They'll try to get rid of you. That's right. Amen. But so they thought they got rid of Him. Mm -hmm. Amen. But the writer went on to say, Amen. The stone, yeah. which the builders rejected, uh -huh. have become the head of the corner. Praise right. the Lord. So they tried to get, you know, the best thing that they did for Jesus is to crucify him. That's right, Bishop. <laughs> Praise the Lord. That was the best. You see, they thought they was getting rid of him. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But little did they know they was fulfilling scripture. Yeah. Because Jesus said, now destroy this temple. Yeah. And in three days, right. I'll raise it up again. They said, 46 years mm -hmm. was this temple in building. Jesus said, I'm not talking about this I'm temple. I'm talking about this temple yeah. of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Destroy it. And in three days, Amen. I will raise it up again. And did three days after three days, did he come out? Amen. Praise the Lord. He came Amen. out. And he looked towards heaven. He said, all power, all power. in heaven and in earth is what? Given, given unto me. And even the soldiers yeah. that they placed to guard his tomb. Mm. Amen. That his disciples don't come by night and steal his body away. Yeah. And said that he's risen. Praise the Lord. No matter how many soldiers they put, when the God Jesus tomb. Yes, sir. Amen. They could not stop God. All right. Because God told Jesus, I will not leave your soul in hell. Neither. Neither will I suffer My thy God. holy one to see what? Right. To see corruption. It got so much, amen, that they even called the soldiers mm -hmm. and said, we're going to pay you money. Mm. Praise the Lord. To keep your mouth closed yeah. and to say that his disciples That's right. came by night and stole the body away. Right. Praise the Lord. We don't want them to know that God raised him. Praise the Lord because now we, we, we told everybody that everything Jesus spoke, he was speaking of his own. That's right. But Jesus said, my meat is to do the will of him that sent me and to finish his work. Praise the Lord. So now the stone which the what? The builders 
was rejected yeah. have become the what? Chief the head corner. or the chief corner. cornerstone. Yeah. All right, I wanted to bring those two scriptures in to show us, amen, the rejection of the cornerstone. Amen. All right, now let's go now to Matthew chapter number 13. Matthew chapter number 13, verse number 31 through 33. Matthew chapter number 13. I want Jesus spoke two parables concerning the kingdom. Another parable. All right. Another parable. Put he forth unto them, saying. All right. Matthew chapter 13 is known as the, the chapter of parables. Mm -hmm. All right. You can go there and you can find, amen, all of the parables or most of them. Amen. All right. Read. The kingdom of heaven uh -huh. is like to a grain of mustard seed. All right. The kingdom of heaven is like unto a grain of mustard seed. Which a man took mm -hmm. and sowed in his field. Yes. Which indeed is the least of all seeds. But when it is grown, it is the greatest among herbs and becometh a tree. So that the birds of the air come and lodge in the branches thereof. All right, now, so Jesus said, now, the parable is for the parable, the kingdom of heaven is like unto grain of a what? Mustard, mustard seed. seed. Now, they told me a mustard seed is one of the smallest seeds. Very small. Praise the Lord, a very small seed, but which a man took mm -hmm. and sowed in his field. That's right. Which indeed is the what? Is the least, least of all seeds. Of all seeds. But, but when it is grown. It is grown it is the greatest, it is the greatest among, among herbs, herbs and, and becoming, becoming a tree. what? A tree. So that the birds. So that the birds of the air. Come and lodge. Come and lodge. In the branches thereof. All right. This is representation of the church. All right, Bishop. Praise the Lord. In other words, Jesus now is pointing out that the church will start out small. Mm -hmm. But it will grow. Yes. Like a tree. Like a tree. Uh, and then what? The birds yes. will come and do what? And lodge. And lodge where? On the, on, on the branches, praise the Lord. So now the birds represent the believers. Yes. Amen. After the kingdom now is grown, people will begin to do what? Come in Come and in. lodge on the branches. Yes. All right. Now one more parable. Another parable spake he unto them. Mm -hmm. The kingdom of heaven is like unto leaven, which a woman took and hid in three measures of meal. Till the whole was left. All right. So now, I believe I said before now. Mm -hmm. Now, remember now, the reason why you go and get the yeast is to mix it within the dough. That's right, Bishop. All right. You don't want the yeast on the outside. No, sir. It will never fulfill its purpose or its intent. That's right. Praise the Lord. But when you place the yeast, we're on the inside of the dough. Yeah. All right. Now, with the yeast being on the inside, it causes the dough to expand. Yeah. Not from the outward appearance. But from within. All right. But from within. All right. Now. Praise the Lord. Now, remember now, Jesus said now the whole Holy Ghost. Uh, I was sent back the Comforter. All right. Uh, and then he went on to say, "Now, as the Scripture have said, he that believeth in me, as the Scripture have said, mm -hmm. out of his what belly shall flow what rivers of living water." And Jesus said, "Now, the Holy Ghost, when he come, he shall be with you yeah. and be in you." That's right. All right. So now, in order now for the church to expand. In order for the church to grow, mm -hmm. the church need the Holy Ghost. You gotta have it. So this is why, amen, before Jesus went to heaven, they said, Master, will thou at this time restore back the what? The, the kingdom. kingdom to Israel. Uh -huh. Jesus said, it's not given unto you to know the times nor the season no, which the Father have placed in his own power. That's right. But he said, no, this is what I want you to do. Go oh, back man. to Jerusalem. Go oh, back. Uh, and tarry. Yeah. Uh, until you be endued with power from on high, because ye shall receive what? Power after, after that. After that the what? The, the Holy Ghost. Ghost. In other words, you don't have no power if you don't have the Holy Ghost. No, sir. But when the Holy Ghost comes, the Holy Ghost gives you power. All right. And now the Holy Ghost will not change you from the outside. No, sir. The Holy Ghost comes to do what? The inside. From within. I have to change you from within. Yes. Now, remember, circumcision was an outward thing. Mm -hmm. But now the Holy Ghost comes on the inside to do what? Change from the inside. Yes, sir. So now the leaven represents the Holy Ghost. Mm -hmm. All right. And the dough is the believers. Man. When the Holy, when the Holy Ghost gets in the believers,
believers, then the church began to expand. Amen. The church began to grow. Yes. All right. So I wanted to bring those two parables in. Yes. I wish if I had time to go through all of them and explain them tonight, but I did it before, but not tonight. Yes. All right. Now let's keep going. I want to get now, amen, to Ephesians chapter number two. Amen. Ephesians chapter number 2. Mm -hmm. Verse number 19. Verse number 19. Yes. Ephesians chapter number 2. Verse number 19. And then we're going to get to Hebrews chapter 3. Now therefore, mm -hmm. ye are no more strangers. All right. Ye are no more strangers. And foreigners. And foreigners. But fellow citizens. But what? Fellow citizens. All right. Now they were citizens before you. Mm -hmm. But now you are no longer strangers. And come, foreigners. In other words, Gentiles yes, and foreigners. Uh -huh. Praise the Lord. You're no longer on the outside. Yes, sir. Amen. Because remember now, even the, the, the gospel... Uh, salvation was not sent at first to the Gentiles. That's right. Only salvation is of the Jews. That's right. But because of the rejection, the Jews rejected the cornerstone. Yes, sir. Now that opened up the door for the Gentiles to what? Come Amen. in. Praise the Lord. As Paul said, blindness in part hath happened, have happened to unto Israel until what? The fullness of the Gentiles, of the Gentiles be come, come in. in. So God blinded them through what? Through unbelief. That's right. And because of their unbelief, it opened up the door for the Gentile believers who were considered as dogs, right. now that they can come in and they become what? Fellow Hello. citizens. Yes. Praise the Lord. Along with the Jews. With the saints. With the saints. And of the household of God. And of the household of God. Read. And are built. And are built. Upon the foundation. Upon the foundation. Of the apostles. Of the apostles. And the prophets. And it's all right. Read. Jesus Christ mm -hmm. himself being the chief cornerstone. Now let me say this. If there is any church is not founded upon the teaching of the apostles because the apostles were the first foundation of the church. That's right, Bishop. Praise the Lord. These were the men that followed Jesus. Jesus gave them the key. Praise the Lord. And, and they were the ones that stayed close to him. Mm -hmm. And Jesus said it like this. You are those who have what? Continue with me Amen. until this day. That's right. Uh, and I promise you that when I come, I'm going to reward you. Yes, sir. And you shall sit upon 12 tribes, 12 thrones, That's right. judging the 12 tribes right. of Israel. Now, let me say this. According to the Bible and according to Revelation, God only recognized 12 original apostles. Amen. All right, there's only 12 original apostles. There were many that were called apostles, but not like the 12. That's right. Because the 12 now were witness to what? To his resurrection. Eyewitness. Uh, eyewitness. Thank you. Now, if you are not, if you are not the eyewitness mm. of the resurrection of Jesus, then you are not like one of the 12. That's right. Praise the Lord. Uh, so many of you out there call yourself apostles. Mm. But the Bible said now there's only 12 original. Yes. But there were more than 12 that were called apostles. That's right. All right. In whom all building, mm -hmm. fitly framed together, fitly framed together, groweth unto an holy temple uh -huh. in the Lord. All right. So I want to go back to something now. All right. And I built upon the foundation what? of the apostles, apostles and, prophets. and prophets. Now, the prophets worked along with the apostles, amen, in the building of the church. Yes. Praise the Lord. Uh, back then, they had prophets. That's right. But today they got many people that call themselves a prophet. Right. But you can't prophesy nothing that's already written. No, sir. That's right. But yet you can prophesy of an event to come. Mm -hmm. The Spirit of God can come up upon you and you can prophesy that there will be an earthquake tomorrow. That's right. But you can't prophesy nothing that's already written. Amen. All the people need to do is go and read what's already written. Go read it. Praise the Lord. So the apostles and the prophets work together in the building of the church. Mm -hmm. All right. And Jesus Christ himself. All right. Now Jesus Christ in what? Himself. himself. No one else. Being the chief. Not the apostles. Not Peter. Himself. Uh, Jesus himself. Being the chief cornerstone. All right. So Je Peter is not 
the chief cornerstone. No, sir. Jesus is. Uh, Jesus is the what? The chief cornerstone. Man. In whom all the building was. Fitly framed together. Fitly framed together. Groweth. Groweth. Unto an holy temple. All right. Groweth now. All the building now. That is building upon what? The cornerstone. Yes. All right. All of the building now was fitly framed, framed together. together Grow, grow it unto a what? Holy uh, temple. And I want you to recognize now, the building is called a holy temple. Yes. Amen. Praise the Lord. So you have the cornerstone. That's right. And on the cornerstone now are other stones. That's right. Now what are you building? You're building a temple. Amen. All right. There's a reason now why you're building a temple. And I'll explain why the church now is called a temple. Mm -hmm. All right. Read. In whom? Mm -hmm. Ye also are building together. All right. In whom also ye are, are built together for inhabitation. For inhabitation of God, of through, God the Spirit. through the Spirit. So you see now, he's building a temple. Yes. And we are the habitation of God. Yes. So that God now would do what? Dwell inside of us mm -hmm. through the Holy Ghost. That's right. Praise the Lord. So our bodies are known as the what? The temple of I believe Hebrews chapter number three. Yes. Wherefore, holy brethren. Wherefore, holy brethren. Partakers of the heavenly calling. Are partakers of the heavenly calling. Consider the apostle mm -hmm. and high priest of our profession, Christ Jesus. All right. So now this is Paul. Now let's break this down. Mm -hmm. Wherefore, holy brethren. Yeah. Partakers of the what? The heavenly calling. Mm -hmm. Consider the what? The apostle. Consider the apostle the high and high priest of our, our profession, profession, Christ Jesus. Amen. Now, Paul now is looking in terms of Moses. Mm -hmm. Moses was God's Old Testament apostle. All right. Because God called Moses out to go and deliver a message as an ambassador for God. Man. Mm -hmm. Now, so was Jesus. Jesus was God's ambassador. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. He came to do what? To point man Amen. back to God. And he was a representative of God. And he was chosen by God. All right. So now Jesus in the New Testament is referred to as the apostle and what? And high, high priest, priest of our profession, Christ Jesus. Now, who was a high priest in Moses' day? Melchizedek. According to the law, under the law, Aaron. All right, so now Moses was the apostle and Aaron was the high priest. Yes, sir. But now in the new covenant, Jesus is both the apostle and the high priest, yes. both in one. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. Just like he was the sacrifice and he was the Passover. Whereas in, in the Old Testament, they had to go and get the sacrifice and kill the sacrifice for the Passover. Yes. But under the new covenant now, Jesus is both the Passover and the sacrifice. Amen. Praise the Lord. He's both the lion and the lamb. Mm -hmm. All right. He's a lion from the tribe of Judah, yes. but he's a lamb that was slain from the foundation of the world. Amen. All right. So Jesus is both the apostle and high priest, he combined two office in himself. Amen. All right, read. Who was faithful to him that appointed him, as also Moses was faithful to all his house. All right, now listen to what Paul said. Who was faithful to him that was appointed? Jesus was faithful to God mm -hmm. that appointed him. That's right. Because remember now, no high priest back in the old days. 
day, amen, appoint themselves. No, sir. They have to be appointed by God. Amen. They have to be chosen what? By God. Praise the Lord. Real quick, just hold that right there. Mm -hmm. Turn over to chapter 5. Mm -hmm. Turn over to chapter 5 and I'll show you something. Verse, Verse number 1. For every high priest. For every high priest. Taken from among men. Taken from among men. Is ordained for men. Mm -hmm. In things pertaining to God. All right. In things pertaining to who? To God. All right. So the high priest now, you understand, is going to do things pertaining to God. That he may offer both gifts and sacrifices for sin. All right. Now, now let's go on down now to verse number four. Verse number four. And no man, no man taketh his honor unto himself. No man taketh this honor unto himself. But he that is called of God. But he that is called of God. As was Aaron. All right. So you see now the high priest did not call himself. Mm -hmm. He was appointed by God. And do it on Just like Aaron, he didn't do it upon his own. That's he right. had to be appointed. Yes. And Moses delivered the message to them. But it was God that told Moses who was going to be the priest and the high priest. Yes. It was God's doing. God decided to use the tribe of Levi, amen, for the Levitical priesthood. That's right. All right, now read now verse number five. So also. So also. Christ glorified not himself. All right, even so also Christ glorified not himself. To be made in high priest. To be made a high priest. But he that said unto him. But he that said unto him. Thou art my son. Thou art my son. Today. Today. Have I begotten So you see, thee. Jesus didn't push himself up to be a high priest. No, sir. No. But it was God that made him a high priest. The same God that said at the river of Jordan, this is what? My, my beloved son. In whom? In whom I'm what? Well, well please. please. So God appointed Jesus as the high priest. That's right. Praise the Lord of our profession. Amen. And whenever you think about Jesus being the high priest of the new covenant, you always think about Melchizedek also. That's right. So Melchizedek was the first high priest. He was the first priest. Whenever you read the Bible, the word priest came on the scene through Melchizedek. That's right, Bishop. But Jesus now in the New Testament, praise the Lord, is the new Melchizedek in the New Testament. Amen. He's a representative of Melchizedek. The same office that Melchizedek hold, Melchizedek was king of Salem, which is what? King of peace, king of righteousness. So is Jesus. All right, now I just wanted to bring that in. Amen. Go on now back now to chapter 3. Who was faithful to him mm -hmm. that was appointed. That appointed, that appointed him, him as also, also what? Moses was faithful in all his house. All right, now when you talk about Moses was faithful in all his house, we're talking about the tabernacle. Mm -hmm. All right, the tabernacle, which was the center of Israel's worship. The tabernacle instruction was given to Moses Amen. from God. How he should build it. How high, how wide. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Moses didn't have to come up with the measurement. God gave him the measurement. Amen. And when God finished giving him the measurement, Moses carried out God's instruction. He was faithful in the tabernacle, erecting the tabernacle, building the tabernacle according to the measurement of the measurement that came from God. Amen. All right, so Moses was faithful to him that appointed him to build the tabernacle, which was the center of Israel's worship. Amen. And it was a place where it represents the presence of God. That's right. Among the people. Mm -hmm. So you had the tabernacle right there among the children of Israel. Yes. Meaning the presence of God was with them wherever they go. Mm -hmm. Now the tabernacle was just a tent. That's right. And it was just a tent that they pitched. That's right. So every time they moved from point A to B, to you understand, they took it down. Pack it up. Uh, they pack it up, carried it with them, right. and whenever they decide to stop, yeah. amen, and camp wherever they was going to camp, yeah. then they rested, they erected the temple That's or right. the tabernacle all over again. That's right. All right, because it represents the presence of God. All right, now read. For this man was counted worthy uh -huh. of more glory than Moses. All right, so now Jesus was counted more worthy, uh, counted worthy of more glory yeah. than Moses. Mm -hmm. 
-hmm. Three. Inasmuch as he who hath built the house hath more honor than the house. All right, now, what Paul is saying now, whenever you speak of Moses, you always got to go back to the law. Mm -hmm. All right, now, the law only pointed to Jesus. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. Everything about the law was only temporary. Yes. The law was only our schoolmaster to do what? Bring, Bring us to Christ. Christ. That's right. And remember now, what? Remember now, the law was given for instruction and discipline. Mm -hmm. I want to say something that came to me. Let's go to Galatians chapter three. I didn't have this in mind, but go to Galatians chapter number three. Galatians chapter number three. Let me get the right verse. Galatians chapter number 3, verse number 24. 3 and 24. Wherefore? Right, matter of fact, let's, let's go back to verse number 19. 19. Mm -hmm. Wherefore? Uh-huh. Then serveth the law. What was the purpose of the law? It was added because of transgression. All right. Now remember now, in, in the garden, God never gave Adam a, um, a law. Commandment. God only gave Adam a commandment. Yes, sir. All right. God never gave Adam a law. He gave him a what? A commandment. Yes. Remember, the law it did not come about until what? Mount Sinai. Yes, that's right. All right, but man, even though man was not given a commandment, man lived according to what? Their conscience. Mm -hmm. After they disobeyed the command, man began to live according to their conscience. That's right. You understand? This is why Paul said, no, the law was not imputed. Mm -hmm. uh, the law, God could not hold mankind guilty for a law that he never gave them. There was no law. Uh, and where there is no law, uh -huh. there is no transgression. That's right. But From Adam to Moses, what was the sign that man was living in sin? The sign was death. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. Because of sin brings about what? Death. That's right. Praise the Lord. So now, sin was in the world. Mm -hmm. But sin is not imputed when there is no law. That's right. But nevertheless, death reigned from what? Adam. From Adam to Moses, mm -hmm. even over them who have not sinned after the similitude of transgression. All right. Bishop. Praise the Lord. So now, the law now come now to point out sin. Yes. All right. Then I'm going to dig them alone. Just hold that verse you got and get me um, Romans chapter number 3 verse 19 and 20. Read it to me. And added because of transgression. Because of transgression. Till the seed should come. All right. So the law was only added because of what? Because of sin. That's right. All right. Now, the law was added because of sin. Mm -hmm. Now, this get to sin. Pour yours right there, Deacon. Okay. Deacon Malone, you got Romans 3, 19 and 20. Read that real quick. Romans 3, 19 and 20. Whoever get it, I want to keep moving. This was not on the agenda, but it's a Holy Ghost agenda. All right, Romans 3. 19? Yes. Now we know mm -hmm. that what things soever the law say. What things soever the law said. It saith to them who are under the law. All right, so whatsoever the things the law said it is only talking to those that was what? Under, under the, the law. law. So it was not talking to the Gentiles. That's right. Because the law was never given to the Gentiles. Only it was only given to one nation and one group of people and that is the children of Israel. Yes. Read. That every mouth that every mouth may be stopped may be stopped. And all the world mm -hmm. may become guilty before God. Alright. So now what the law. Alright. Let's. I don't want to speak too fast. 20. Yeah. There Therefore, therefore, by the deeds of the law, therefore, by the deeds of the law, there shall no flesh be justified. In other words, nobody can be righteous in the sight of God by keeping the law. Yes. Praise the Lord. Because remember now, there was nothing wrong with the law. All that was wrong was the you was people. That's because right. they were not able to keep the law. Because Paul said in chapter 7, the law is what? Spiritual. All right, so there was nothing wrong with the law, mm -hmm. but it's just that man could not keep the entire law. Couldn't do it. Praise the Lord, they were unable to obey the entire law. All right. Read. 
There shall no flesh be justified. No flesh be declared righteous. That's in, what that word justify mean. In his Declare sight. righteous or not guilty in God's sight. For by the law. For by the law. Is the knowledge of sin. All right. So by the law is the what? Is the knowledge of sin. Mm -hmm. So what the law did now is point out or brought sin to the forefront. That's right. Paul said, I had not known covet unless the law said, thou shalt not covet. Yeah. So Paul said, when sin, you saying, when sin came, I rev uh, I revived. I believe I'm trying to remember where is that. When sin came, I died. I'm trying to remember where that verse revived is. Revived and I died. It revived and I died. Praise the Lord. I believe it might be in chapter number seven. All right, but Romans chapter number seven. Yeah, nine. Verse nine. nine. Seven and nine. All right, what did it say? Seven and nine. Was for I was alive. For I was alive without the law. Once. Once. But when the commandment came. But when the commandment came. Sin revived. Sin revived. And I died. And I what? I died. In other words, now the law pointed out that which was wrong. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. So now man have a law, you understand, to point out, you understand, the demands of sin yeah. and what sin does in the sight of God. All right. So now sin, the law only brought sin to the forefront. Mm -hmm. It pointed out sin. But it, the law did not justify anybody in the sight of God. Amen. This is why Paul said, now going back to Galatians. Mm -hmm. All right, keep on reading. And because of transgression. It was added because of transgression. Till the seed should come. To till the seed should what come. To whom the promise was made. Uh-huh. And it was ordained by the angels in the hand of a mediator. All right. Now a mediator is not a mediator of one. All right. But God is one. All right. So a mediator represents not himself alone, but he speaks on behalf of others. Mm. But you know, remember what Paul said, but God is what? One. One. That's God right. is not a mediator. Is that right? That's right. But the Bible said now there's a mediator, what? Between, Between God and man, the, the man. man, what? Christ, Christ Jesus. Jesus. Christ is a mediator and he mediate between the church and God. That's right. But God is not a mediator. No, God is one. Mm -hmm. Oh Lord, I love this. Read. Mm -hmm. Is the law then mm -hmm. against the promises of God? Yes. God forbid. Mm -hmm. For if there had been a law given, which could have given life, Verily, righteousness should have been by the law. All right. So now, it said, Paul is saying, no, if the law could produce righteousness, mm -hmm. uh, then righteousness would come from the law. That's right. Praise the Lord. What would there be need for a seed to come? That's right. What is the purpose of Jesus coming if the law can make someone righteous? Amen. Read. But the scripture. But the scripture. Have concluded mm -hmm. all under sin. All the sin that the promise by faith but the promise by faith of Jesus Christ of Jesus Christ might be given to them that believe all right so the promise by faith of Jesus Christ is only given to them that what that, that believe. believe that's right so you understand this is why Paul said I'm not ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ that's because right. it is the power of God unto salvation to everyone that what believe in it. it is only the power of God if you only believe if you don't that it's not the power of God unto you. Mm -hmm. All right, read. But before faith came, but before faith came, we were kept under the law. You understand? We were kept under the law. Shut up, shut up. Unto faith, unto unto the faith which should afterward be revealed. All right. So now the young said unto the faith that should afterward what be, be revealed. what be revealed. So now the law acted as a jailer. That's right. Uh, and the jailer kept, you understand, those in prison. That's right. So the law kept mankind, in other words, in a smart sense, speaking, in prison. Because no man can fulfill the entire letter of the law. Yeah. And the law worketh wrath. Praise the Lord. The law produces what? Wrath. Yeah. Yes, sir. Praise the Lord. So now the law acted as a jailer mm -hmm. who had his prisoners in jail. Amen. All right, now, but listen what happened to the prisoners. Read. Wherefore? Wherefore? The law was our schoolmaster. It was a schoolmaster. To bring us unto Christ. All right, so in other words, it is schoolmaster, give instruction, and discipline. Mm -hmm. 
So the law gave the children of Israel instruction of what God required. And whenever they disobeyed the law, then the law turned around and did what God turned around and disciplined them. Mm -hmm. All right, read. That we might be justified by faith. All right, we might be justified by faith. But after that flat faith is come, mm -hmm. we are no longer under a schoolmaster. Yes. For ye are all the children of God by faith in Christ Jesus. All right. For as many of you as have been baptized into Christ have put on Christ. Therefore, neither Jew nor Greek there is neither bond nor free. Mm -hmm. There is neither male nor female. For ye are all one in Christ Jesus. All right. So I just wanted to go back there and bring in the law. Yes. All right. So Moses is a representative of the law. Amen. All right. Now go back now to Hebrews chapter number three. Mm -hmm. All right. Read verse three again. For this man was counted worthy. Of more glory, of more glory than Moses, than Moses, inasmuch as he who had built the house hath more honor than the house. All right. Mm -hmm. For every house is built by some man. Yes. But he is he that built all things is God. Yes. And Moses verily was faithful in all his house. All right. Moses was faithful in all his house mm -hmm. as a servant for a testimony of those things which were to be spoken of after. All right, so Moses now was faithful. All right, but he was there. In, in other words, read it again, Deacon. And Moses verily was faithful mm -hmm. in all his house. As a what? As a servant. All right, so Moses was a servant. Mm -hmm. And he was faithful what? In all his house. In all that God told him to do, he was obedient to the call of God. Amen. As a servant. As a servant. For what? For a testimony of those things. For a testimony of, of those things which were to be spoken of after. All right, of those things. Remember now, Moses now, the, the, the ceremonial law pointed to the coming of Christ. Mm -hmm. Everything concerning the law now pointed to the coming of Christ. That's right. Mm -hmm. All right, read. But Christ as a son over his own house. Now, you see now, listen, now follow. Moses was faithful to God in the erected and building of the tabernacle in the wilderness. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Read. But Christ as a son. But Christ as a son. Over his own house. Over his own house. Whose house are we? Whose house are who? Are, are we? we? All right, so now do you see now Petrus being built on Petra? Mm. All right, All right. Praise the Lord God. Now Petrus now mm -hmm. is more than a house. It's a temple. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. Whose house are what? Are, are we? Mean. So the church now is known as a house. That's right. Mm -hmm. So the, the church can only function if it is on the true foundation and it measures up to the cornerstone. Gotta be. Praise the Lord. So without the cornerstone and without the teaching of the apostles and prophets, that church have no foundation. Amen, Bishop. Praise the Lord. They must believe in the teaching of the apostles. Got to. They must believe in repentance. Mm -hmm. They must believe in water baptism Amen. in Jesus' name. Amen. Because none of the apostles ever baptized in Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Not in the book. That's right. Praise the Lord. Uh, they all baptized in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. But you'll never find right. where none of them baptized in Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. One Lord, one Praise Lord. the Lord, because they understood. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. They, eat, they open up eating their understanding that they might do what? Understand the scriptures. Amen. Jesus opened up the apostles' understanding so that they can understand the scripture. Some people today, amen, they're only repeating what Jesus said, That's but right. they're not doing what Jesus said to do. That's right. That's right. That's Praise right. the Lord. Now somebody will say, now, I, I want to debate you on the baptism. Come on. Praise the Lord. I only got one verse. Mm. Real quick, mm -hmm. Colossians 3.17. That's all I want to read to anybody that want to, amen, challenge me on the wall of baptism. Only one verse I got to give you. All right. And whatsoever. Whatsoever. 
word. Ye do. You do. In word. In word. Or deed. Or deed. Do all. Do all. In the name of the Lord Jesus. No, do it all in Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. All in the Trinity. name. Trinitarian. All in the name. Praise the Lord. See how simple it is? Mm -hmm. Do, do it all. whatsoever you do. Do all.
chosen of God, chosen of God, and precious, and precious. Ye also, ye also, as lively stones, as lively stones. The church now is known as what? Lively, lively stones. Stone. How we mean that we're lively? Paul said it like this: You have been quickened, who were dead, uh, who were dead and in trespasses, and, and, and in what? And in sin. What quickened us? The Holy Ghost. Praise the Lord God in the Spirit of Him. him that uh,
didn't he? Mm -hmm. When you saw him healing the sick, that was God healing the sick. God doing it. Why are you saying that was God doing it? God was in Christ. Reconciled. Praise the Lord. How was he in Christ? Reconciling the world through the Holy Ghost. Mm -hmm. Oh, praise the Lord. Read really Who being in the form in of the God. In the form of God. Thought it not robbery. He thought it not robbery. To be equal with to be God. Equal But made himself of no reputation. Of no reputation. He took upon him. He took upon him the form of a servant. The form of a servant and was made in the likeness was of men. Made in the likeness of what? Of men. In the likeness of men. God is not a man. Amen. That he should lie, neither the son of man. He that he repent. should repent. Jesus was made in the likeness of men. He's Abraham's seed. Amen. Oh Lord, read the good. And being found, being found in fashion as a man. In the fashion as a man. He humbled himself. Oh, in the garden, he humbled himself. Yeah, and became obedient. But Adam disobeyed in the garden, yeah. but Jesus obeyed in the garden. Yeah, yes, he did. One man disobeyed in one garden, but another man obeyed in another garden. That's right. Read the good. Became obedient. He became death. obedient. Unto death. Unto death. Even the death, even the, the death of the cross, and because he became obedient, what did God do for him? God also has highly God him. also have highly exalted him and given him a name. God give Jesus a name. If Jesus is God, who is the God that give him the name? Mm. <laughs> oh, hallelujah! God, who exalted God? Nobody, Bishop. Does God need anybody to promote him? He need nobody. That's
said, I'll preserve it. God said, I will preserve it. That's what he said. So if God preserve it, you don't know how we preserve it. Mm -hmm. I don't know how we preserve it. But mm -hmm. every man carries his own seed. Amen. Right. Thank you, Jesus. Joseph did not apply his substance to Mary. No, sir. Oh, hallelujah. But God took the substance and gave it to the Holy Ghost. Done by the Holy Ghost. <laughs> Overshadow. Oh, hallelujah. Overshadow Mary. Mm. And the Holy Ghost went to work. And guess what happened? Mm. Pregnant. She became pregnant. Oh, Lord, Lord, I love this Bible. It's hallelujah. right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. All right, read. And at the name of Jesus. Yes. Every knee should bow. Every knee shall bow. Of things in heaven. Of things in heaven. Things in earth. Things in the earth. Things under the earth. Yes. And that every tongue. Every tongue. Shall Upon you, I love. Lord, may the Lord. I was just 
mind in my business and see the Lord just pulling them on. Get back to Matthew 16. All right. Lord, and he began, he opened up that thing so much I was exercising. And, uh, where I exercise, I keep my Bible with me. Mm -hmm. It's good to keep your Bible where you Whoa. should get a Bible, take it with you in the restroom. Keep it close. Keep that Bible close with you. Yeah. And when the Lord opened up that thing to me, I just wanted to jump deacon. Mm. But you know the height in there. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> but Lord, I have to contain myself. Lord said, write it down. Write it down, John. Go to the table. Hey, John. Oh, hallelujah. Sound the alarm. Hallelujah. Edify the body of Christ. Yeah. Oh, we coming. Not by this is what the Lord told Zerubbabel. Not by mind. Mm -hmm. Nor by power. But by the Spirit, said the Lord, may God bless you. Heaven smile upon you. Y'all know me by now. That's just me. When I get excited with the word, uh, it's just me. This ain't no put on. No, sir. This ain't no show. This is real. Amen. Now you feel that quickening power. The Holy Ghost. So may God bless you. May heaven smile upon you. We're not going to bore your patient here a little. There it is. So may God bless you. Have a smile upon you. And if it's the Lord's will, only if the Lord bring it to pass, we will be back on Sunday for Bible study. And if it's the Lord's will, we will be here on Sunday Amen. for service. Only if it's the Lord's will. Amen. So I pray for you. You pray for me. And watch God change things. God bless you.